What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about circuiting in our fire alarm systems design. So after learning how to create a low voltage circuit last time, so this time around, let's add wires to our project. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in here on, on my uh, boardroom. So what I'm going to do first is if I'm going to select the space here, notice that if I move the slider down, okay, so I'm just checking if the space here is following the room name. So it is following the room name. So how about the office? Let me just double check it first. Okay, so it's the same. How about the kitchen? All right, so it's the same. So how about the corridor? Click. All right, so it's the same. That's good. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into my boardroom and then I'm going to start to create the wire. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create it automatically and then I'm going to show you how to create it manually. So to create it automatically, what you can do is you just need to hover your pointer to one of the fire alarm devices that is already part of the circuit. Just hover your pointer, like for example, on my fire alarm strobe speaker. So I'm just going to hover, do not click that, just move your pointer over the fire alarm device. And then after that, you press tab. So once you press tab, you can see here the preview of the wiring. Okay, so I'm going to click that. There you go. So once you click that, you will see here the circuit number, the load name, the panel, where is it, uh, where this circuit is assigned and then the system type, as well as the number of, uh, uh, I mean the length, and also the number of elements, which is four. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, and then you also see here these two icons here. So we have an arc, and then you also have a chomper. Okay, so you have two ways of generating your wiring automatically. It's either arc or uh, chomper. So aside from clicking these two icons here or selecting any of these two icons here, you can also select from here. So let's say, for example, it's too obscure here on your view. You can go to the convert to wire and then you see the two options here as well. Okay, so you can either click from here or you can click from here. So I'm going to click here the arc wire. So I'm going to select that one and there you go. So you just click outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the thin lines to show you the line weight of my wire, which is that one. Okay. And aside from that, if you want, you can still select your wire if you want to edit the position. So you can see you can move that. You can move. You can actually add here a tick mark. But if you remember last time, we turned off the tick mark from the electrical settings. So just a review, if I go to the systems, and then if I go to the electrical settings here, okay, you can set it here on my general, is it on general, uh, wiring. Okay, you see, uh, show tick marks here, is, it says here always, and then the assigned tick mark is long wire tick mark. So I do not want to show the tick mark, even though if it is always, I do not want to select that plus icon to show the tick marks but just in case you want to show that you just need to select the wire and then you can click that plus there to show you the tick mark right okay there you go see but i do not want to do that so i don't want to show the tick mark but anyway that's how you create your wiring automatically so same with this portion here let's say for my office i'm going to hover my pointer to one of the fire alarm device i'm going to press tab and then once i see the preview i'm now going to click that and i'm going to click let's say for example arc wire again there you go All right and then you can still edit the home run. So this is what you call a home run. So you can just move that. Okay. You can create a curve there. There you go. Okay. So how about the other option? So let's say, for example, for my kitchen, I'm going to go ahead and select the kitchen. Oh, I mean, hover your pointer, press tab, click, 
and then you can select chompered wire so I'm not a fan of chompered wire but if you want to use the chompered wire it's okay as well okay if that suits you so this is how the chompered wire looks like okay right okay so how about here so let's say for example I want to do it manually so instead of hovering my pointer and then press tab to one of the elements so what I'm gonna do is from the system tab you have here the wire tool and then you have uh, you have three options to create your wiring you have an arc wire spline wire or chompered wire for this one I'm just going to use an arc wire okay so I'm gonna select the arc wire and then make sure you click at the node or on the point there you go so you click at the point that's your first point and then since this is an arc so I'm gonna pick the second point here there you go and then I'm gonna pick the third point here make sure it's the point so click again and then it will automatically wire that to create the home run so what you can do is you can click again the first point here and then you can click the second point and then you can just click the third point and since we don't have any device that will that we are going to assign that last point Revit will automatically create the home run all right okay so aside from that you can also go to the tag here tag by category and then you can tag the wires okay so you can just uncheck the leader and then you can click that one okay if you want you can tag it okay you can tag it shows you there the circuit number if I'm not mistaken so that's one that's the tag of that oh that is circuit number three this one is circuit number two okay so it's right okay so basically that's how you create the wire in Revit so this is not 3d this is just a 2d drawing you will not be able to see the wire in your 3d view you can only see that on your 2d view okay so on our next video we are going to use another browser or we're going to explore another browser aside from the project browser which is called system browser so we are going to review the system browser on our next video so thank you for watching guys have a nice day